Today we will learn about scope functions in Kotlin. These are not commonly asked in Android interview but a Kotlin developer should know about these. So what are scope functions? Scope functions are just functions from Kotlin standard library that will help you run a particular block of code within the context of any object. So here you can treat this word context as we are grabbing one object and then we are performing some operations. We are performing a block of code around that object. And in Kotlin here we have five scope functions. Let, run, with, apply also. Let us see all one by one. Generally all of these scope functions are pretty similar in nature but the main purpose of using any scope function is to have a better code quality. And if you actually want that then you should choose the right function to go with. So let's break down all of them one by one. Let me create a user object and pass some dummy data. So first let us see this let. So if you are a beginner I won't recommend you to directly jump into this source code and uh, you might not understand uh, this in just first time. So if you haven't used a scope function or a lambda function yet so let me explain. The so user dot let and uh, this let is a function here that receives another function inside of it and uh, here inside this function we have an argument it here. So this it if you hover over it you can see this is the user object that we are using it here. So inside this function you can directly use this it to access any property. If these are mutable then you can also assign them or, or you can just use them. And if you are checking the source code so this might, this might look complex but uh, just leave this part right now. Let me explain you this thing. So t here is our first object that was our user object here. So user, so user dot let and inside this let you can see there is another function here that is called as block. So block function is something like this. It has a parameter of t. That means, that means here this object is considered as a parameter. So let us write this thing somewhere. So in let the, the object is considered as a parameter. And if you see, so this also returns an another object, which is the return type of this let function also. So that means inside this lambda block, this should return an object that can be same or different object. So suppose here I am calculating something where new user, you can create a user here or let me just print a string here, user used. So, so this is the, so this is the return type of our block and uh, the same return type will be returned from our let function also. So at the higher level if you see this let is also a function so that will return us a value and uh, this value will be type of string because we are returning that thing. If you are returning here integer then the value will be integer. If these curly braces are confusing you then you can also treat this as a function and you can pass the block as a parameter. So block function and a function that can return one and it also has it which is our user. I hope you understood this thing. If the last, param if the last parameter of any function is a lambda then it is better to use these curly braces and write your function here. So for this let function now we know two things. It receives the same parameter and it also returns something. So it returns. After that we have run. So let us check run function. It also has t. So user dot run and inside this function you can see t dot function. Here this t is not the parameter inside this function. You have to note this small difference here. This t is considered as a object here and then object dot another function. So that's why inside this run we will have this. So this is considered as our user here. We will not have the access to it because for it we will always have a parameter. And for this run function the inside this lambda there is no parameter. That's why we will only have this. And uh, now you can access any property this dot name or this dot id. So let us write this thing for run function. We have the object as a lambda receiver or you can also consider this as an extension function for this object. So let me write this here. I hope you will understand and for parameter we will use it. And, and I think 
yeah it also returns us so after run we have with so with cannot be used like this for with we have to pass this as a parameter so you can see with is not like other functions it does not make it as a extension it is just a normal function that receives the first parameter as our receiver and then a block of code which also takes the same thing as our run so here the object is again as a lambda receiver and then and then our lambda function so same like this you can also have access to this and it also returns another object so it is pretty similar to our run there you can write this and it also returns you you know this dot name is a string so i will just write here name equal to this dot name so that makes sense after that we have apply so user dot apply and here it is different you can see for other functions they are taking two different kind of objects t and r but for this apply it takes t and it also returns t that means if we are using this apply it can only return a user object well user equal to new user equal to this or or if we are passing this dot name then still if you see it is still returning the user but how it is not returning from the last line it is just returning the same object and applying something to the parameters or the functions it is having as you can also see the implementation at the last line it is returning this and for this with function it returns receiver dot block because the receiver is our parameter and then it applies this block function over this receiver and for this run function it is simple we just return the block and same for our let function let me show you for the let there you can see it just passed the block and the object is parameter here at last we have also let me write apply here apply also have this and returns object let me write this so this also is also different let us check it takes user dot also and inside this function it takes it as a parameter so this cannot be visible it is accessible so same as let also also takes it as a parameter and returns it and uh, the difference the difference is as you can see it returns the same thing it returns this so returns same object uh, let me write the same thing here same object so here these things means we can group them with uh, some particular behavior so let me group them so those function where we can access the object with this and uh, where we can access it with it so for this so this is how you are accessing the object but uh, there is also another difference how you are returning the object so here as you see apply and uh, i think not let we should write it here so let and uh, also returns the same object that means this t dot also will always return this t as the return type so this new user will be always equal to this user with the, any modification that you might be doing and same for this apply also so if you are using here apply so this will also return this same this user will be this new user just the difference is it is this here or even you don't need this you can directly access the any property or any function so another difference here is how we are returning so these two are the clear differentiators for choosing the best scope function for your requirement so now let me tell you when you should be using apply and when you should be using also because uh, these are two which, which returns the same object that means the context object back so generally how it is being used whenever you are creating any object and you want to apply any configuration to that object that is the place where uh, we are mostly using this apply function so suppose there is a default value to my objects and suppose there are two three more objects here suppose description and uid so while creating your object you might uh, have you might have tens of parameter and you don't want to apply them all so what is easier to do is we can directly use this apply lambda function and we can write name equal to 
सागर डिस्क्रिप्शन इक्वल टू एंड्रॉयड एंड यू कैन सी दीज आर वेल बिकॉज दिस अप्लाई इज मोस्टली नॉट यूज विद डेटा क्लासेज इफ यू हैव जनरल क्लासेज एंड यू इफ यू हैव फील्ड इन साइड ऑफ इट सपोज देर इज वन फील्ड लोडिंग इक्वल टू फोल्स और एनी मल्टीपल फील्ड विद फंक्शन ऑल्सो ए बी सी सपोज दीज आर फील्ड हेयर देन मोस्टली दिस अप्लाई विल बी यूजफुल then for this user you will always have the updated name and description because this is the configuration what we are doing for this user object itself and for also it is generally recommended to use it when you have already access to the object and when you want to when you want to perform any operation on the object itself not the fields so this is a major difference whenever you have access to this so that means you are you want the object to be already present and you want to perform any operations you want to access them or you want to reassign the values of of the fields of that object so we have access to this with our apply so that's why we were reassigning the values of fields of this user object and in this also we have the use of it so remember this thing whenever we have it so we have to perform operation on this object itself so user it is just a general preference that i am giving here it is not hard coded and it is totally up to you how you want to make make your code look more cleaner this is definitely cleaner than if i am doing it like this also and it dot name it dot description so this is not pretty clean if i am doing it like this then it is much better so whenever you have this then you can easily play with the fields of the object that you are passing for example here we are passing user then i am playing with these fields and generally when i have this it so i have to play with this object or suppose in let so you might have already used this let because it is the mostly used scope function so with let we have mostly used these properties to access the values not reassigning them just to access them and one of the most used thing with this uh, let function is null safety so you might uh, use it like this question mark question mark dot let and uh, there you can apply your parameter so instead of writing if user dot id is not equal to null you can directly use this line and uh, it will be more cleaner so both of these look pretty similar it returns this it takes this context object and returns any value from lambda and uh, with is also doing the same thing so generally what is being used you will use the with and uh, and you will pass this object and then you will have the access to all the all the fields and function without writing this dot or it dot so with is used to create a block of code or a scope where you can perform multiple operations without returning anything suppose in an example i'll 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 show you in jetpack compose we have local density object so so with this local density i can create a scope and i can access the functions of this local density for example i have this and i have to convert it to dp from dp to pixel so to pixel so this thing can be only possible if we are inside of a density scope if i am removing this then uh, we will also not have the access to this 2px function if you are checking this 2 pixel function then you will see this 2px function is extension of dp but is inside of this density interface so that simply means whenever you have to access any functions or any fields multiple times for any object then you need to use this with to create a scope for that object and uh, and generally we don't return anything with this with function and uh, and that is the difference whenever you are using run so user dot run there we generally return suppose a b c and this will be the return type so i hope you understood the difference between all these five scope functions and now you can choose wisely to make your code look better Uh, remember one thing that it's always a personal preference what function you want to choose
but keep the things in mind that i told you and uh, make sure to choose that function which will make your code look better make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and access the android interview playlist from the description